uh, we, we do have, uh, we have about, uh, as you said, I think 100 to 120 uh, Filipinos there uh, with their families. Um, I think 120 already includes their families. Uh, we are, uh, we do have uh, a uh, rapid response team uh, that is already in the border of uh, Gaza and Egypt uh, and uh, ready to provide assistance. Uh, we understood, uh, I'm, I'm getting mixed signals when I turned on the TV last night when we arrived at midnight uh, in CNN, they had announced that uh, the the Hamas uh, had announced that they had reached a, uh, a ceasefire with the Israelis. And then an hour later, uh, Israel, the, the, uh, Israel denied that there was uh, a, uh, a uh, ceasefire that had been reached. And then early this morning, uh, there were uh, new heavy and frequent uh, uh, explosions in the Gaza city. So. Right now, it's, uh, we don't really know what the situation is. We're trying to get our people to tell us exactly what's happening there. Uh, but uh, we, we hope that, uh, uh, I understand uh, Egypt is trying to arrange for a ceasefire. If this happens, uh, we believe that uh, there is a, an initiative now to uh, be able to put up a, uh, uh, a uh, humanitarian corridor and that will give us the opportunity to take out our people. We understand that uh, there are uh, about uh, 12 people who have expressed an interest uh, in terms of, uh, uh, I think four of them want to come home, seven of them just want to be brought into Egypt. Um, I don't think that's true. Uh, I could be wrong, but uh, that indication has not been uh, conveyed to us by our people there. Uh, no, we, we, we actually are uh, dealing with them as a political group uh, and uh, we are trying to uh, establish uh, uh, a contacts with them so that uh, we can properly protect our people there uh, in Israel itself. Um, I, think, I think right now um, um, we have about 41,000 people there. Uh, we are, uh, of course, uh, we do have a post there. Uh, we have a very good ambassador, and he's on top of the situation. Uh, we have uh, had a chance to look at the contingency plans. Uh, we think they're adequate and appropriate, and so uh, we'll just have to see how things develop. But we're ready in case uh, uh, we've sent some funding over. So uh, we are prepared to, uh, to uh, meet the challenges uh, that may develop. Uh, we, you know, there, there's so few of them there, uh, about a hundred, and that's already with their families. And we have a mapping uh, system in our contingency plan. We know exactly where they are, and so uh, we're in touch with them. I, I don't think that, uh, I don't know to what extent uh, uh, we're, we're working with Israel. Certainly, uh, uh, we are in touch with uh, their embassy here. Uh, and uh, as far as uh, the announcements they've made to us, uh, they will treat uh, Filipinos uh, as they treat their own citizens in terms of concern and welfare. Uh, I think we're looking at that to, to see to what extent that situation is and, and whether or not we have to look at our crisis levels for a necessary adjustment.